what are your thoughts on your upcoming opponent, John Salter? He's um, ranked above you. He's kind of hasn't fought that much. So there's not too much like um, film on him, I guess. But what are your thoughts on him? Yeah, he's uh, he's ranked above me, which I like. Obviously, they're they're trying to move me up the ladder. I like that I can hopefully uh, improve my position in the rankings after this. Um, he's a really solid grappler, uh, decent wrestler, really good jiu-jitsu, good on the back. Uh, I'm I'm assuming he's gonna want to take me down and kind of grind me out or, or work submissions or whatever. Um, similar similar to a lot of the fights I, I've had recently, man. It's uh, I mean, they call me a striker, striker, so it's kind of the striker versus grappler matchup. So, uh, it's brawl and brawl once again. Yeah, I feel you. So, like, are you working on your grappling more for this fight than the striking? A little bit, uh, like working, working takedown defense, working some like worst case scenario positions and that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't know, man. Like a, a lot of guys, I think they focus so much on their opponent, they kind of forget about their own skill set. So, I, I got to do me too. And um, so you are training with Logan Storley as well. Uh, how's that been? Because one thing Chael said recently is um, Chael Sonnen. He was saying that um, the lower weight classes are the ones that really, uh, you know, push you hard. So how has that training been with Logan Storley? Yeah, it's been sick, man. I'm, I'm happy that uh, he's kind of taken me in as like a big part of his camp. Like we're, we're doing lots of rounds together. Um, just on Friday, we did like five grappling rounds together. Uh, every sparring day, we're getting in like two or three rounds together. And he's a sick grappler, obviously, right? Like his his game plan is wrestle hard. So he's a perfect training partner for me right now for for Salter. Nice, man. And who else have you been training with up there? It was a solid crew here, man. Uh, Brendan Allen. Um, he's got a fight coming up, so he's training hard right now. We've been getting rounds in. Uh, Impa, Impa Kasanganai, um, former UFC fighter. He's got a big fight coming up, too. We've been getting rounds uh Tuco, Logan Storley, um Mark Andre Barrio is here, another UFC fighter, fellow Canadian. Uh probably tons of guys I'm missing, man. It's it's just a solid crew here in Florida. Gotcha. And um are you seeing any like um you know premonitions in training, like how you think you might get a finish or something like that? Yeah, I, I could see it similar to uh to a lot of my fights, man. I think I can stuff some takedowns kind of like make this guy break a little bit right he's gonna want to take me down I'm, I'm gonna stop that and i think i can get a, a tko maybe second or third round awesome and then we did touch on it before we started the interview but um you're looking to kind of finish your training camp out in uh, canada mm -hmm. yeah I, I like to come down here and get a lot of hard rounds with like these these bigger like really high level guys mm -hmm. um, and then i can go back home and kind of work like very specific stuff with my coaches i have some great training partners there some some really high level wrestlers some good jiu-jitsu guys um and just kind of like clean things up work specifics game plan stuff that sort of thing okay awesome and um one other thing just like on a side note i noticed that you and uh jasmine are both out in florida so how come you guys are at separate gyms um kill cliff doesn't have any female fighters it's it's all guys here so oh. i she, she wanted to to come, but yeah, there's no one here for her. Um, ATT has a good group of girls. Um, ATT also has the champ, Eblen, and uh, Vanderford, one guy already fought. So uh, they they probably wouldn't uh, be, be too happy about me being there. Yeah, I got you. Um, so I guess rounding it down a little bit, when are you going to come out to California for the fight? Um. I don't know, man, whenever Bellator wants me, probably uh, early on fight week, like the fight's on a Friday, so hopefully on the Monday. Okay, so about like, um, just like that week, you'll be coming out, nothing too crazy. Yeah, yeah and then, uh, I don't know, I might uh, might stick around a little bit after the fight, we'll see how things go. Uh, my family's all coming down, which is sick, so um, I'm going to see what they're doing, and maybe we can spend some time in California after the fight. Awesome, man, and I'm going to try to come out to your fight as well. So um, hopefully we can meet in person. That'll be sick, too. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I don't want to add too much pressure, though. So maybe I can just hit <laughs> you up like maybe early in fight week or after your fight, because I know yeah, it gets bro. hectic sure. in, the, in the middle. Yeah, we can do an uh, in-person interview, too. Yeah, that'd be sick. I was even thinking maybe I could document like a training uh, session of yours or something like that. Yeah, and then, cool. you know, ask questions and stuff. I think people would like that. Yeah, fuck yeah. Um, OK, so let's see here. You've been training in Kill Cliff. You're going to go back to Canada. 
Um, you got the upcoming fight against John Salter, who you think, you know, you can probably cook him again, right, and finish him. Um, but I guess what else do you see in him that's kind of um, – like, do you think it's – a? are you worried about the fact that you haven't seen him fight in so long, I guess, that there isn't too much to work off of? And that's the kind of thing where you almost want to take him more seriously because – you know, that's a lot of times when people lose, I feel like. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, for sure, man. Like, I know I know he's a, a very tough guy. He has, like, 24, 25 professional fights, right? So, like, yeah. he's that He's fought high-level guys. Um, I'm thinking it very seriously. Like, he's ranked number four for a reason, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to have to be on point and fight my best fight. Yeah, so you are taking him super seriously. It's not like this is, like, almost, like, a gimme fight for you because i would say out of all the higher ranked guys he's one of those ones where you could look at it that way you know yeah not at all man he's he's definitely a tough opponent